Small businesses typically waste 25% of their monthly ad spend. What if you want to keep it simple? What if you know a website that your customers or potential customers visit on a regular basis and you want to advertise specifically on that website? Yes, it is 100% possible and after watching this video, you're going to know exactly how to do that. And stick around to the end because I'm going to give you a tip that could be a game changer for you and your business. Are you ready to get started? Let's dive right in. My name is Scott Redgate and over the past decade I've managed millions of dollars of Google ad spend and now I'm on a mission to help small businesses make more and spend less and show you that you have everything that you need to manage your own online marketing campaigns. All right, so we're going to hop right into Google Ads where we're going to set up a managed placement display campaign where you can run an ad on a specific website. All right, so we are in the Google Ads interface and we are going to select create new campaign and it's going to come up with the different objectives for the campaigns as you can see here. The one that we're going to select is create a campaign without a goals audience and it's gonna bring up these options down here for the different campaign types. So you got search, performance max, display, shopping, video, and others. The one that we're gonna select is the display campaign where you can run different kinds of ads across the web. And it's gonna ask us to input our website. So I'm gonna type in scottredgate.com. And then you can come up with any campaign name that you want, so you type it in right here i'm going to type in manage placement display then we go down here and select continue okay so now we're at the campaign settings where you can select the different areas that you want your ad to show um, so if you have a local area you can enter the zip code or you can type in the specific city uh, i live in virginia so i'm going to target virginia the state you can type in a zip code or you can simply type in the state in which you live or whatever area you want to target. Uh, here are some more settings for the ads. It's important to know that you can adjust the schedule. So if you want to run your ad on a particular day, uh, you can also decide which devices that you want to show on. So you could have it show only on computers only on mobile phones or tablets or whatever you would like. And there are some other settings here that we're not gonna mess with right now. So we're gonna select next, which brings up the budget and bidding section. And just for uh, the purpose of this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna type in a budget of $25, but you can type in whatever you would like. And now we go down to this bidding section where Google can automa automatically maximize the traffic um, or you can manually set the bid so that you know you're not paying higher than whatever uh, CPC you specify. So I'm going to type in 50 cents in this section. And right now the box is checked for help increase conversions with enhanced CPC. Um, if you have goals set up for your campaigns, it might be beneficial to have this enabled, but if you do not, you can disable it. And now we are at the targeting screen. We're gonna select add targeting and you have different options, audience segments, demographics, keywords, topics, or placements. So placements is the one that we're gonna select. I'm, I'm gonna hover my mouse over the question mark here to get a little more information. So add placements to target specific locations on the Google Display Network. And so the websites that we're gonna be looking to target for your ad are on the Google Display Network. And so that's the option that we wanna select and it brings up this screen right here where you can see websites, YouTube channels, YouTube videos, etc. What you can do is if you want to search for an for a website that you know that your customers or your potential customers visit, you can type it in right here. So for example, NBC29 is a local um, news station and I'm gonna come in here and select that as the website where I want my advertisements to run specifically. And another uh, local news source is CBS 19. I can select that right here as well. Now you also have the ability to search keywords 
uh, surrounding you know what you do. So for example, um, if you have a restaurant or you have a bakery, you want to find out if they're, what um, bakery websites Google has in their display network. You can search for the keyword and you can see the different websites there. Uh, another example, I'm going to type in the keyword home improvement and I'm going to select websites and you can see the different home improvement websites uh, that Google has in their display network. And again, you can just select any or all of these that you would like to run your advertisement on. And let's say that you know a website is in the Google Display Network. You've seen advertisements on their website. You can go into the enter multiple placements and type it in directly um, if you are very confident that it is in the Google Display Network. So down here is optimized targeting where it can find additional placements outside of what you picked. Uh, I'd recommend you disable it just to, to keep moving along. I'm going to keep it enabled and we're going to move on to the next screen. So now you get to the ad creation stage and this is creating a responsive ad where you uh, input the different assets. So business name, images, logos, headlines. And so I'm just going to create a generic ad for you right now so you can see how it's done. So I'm selecting and uploading some media. So first I am uploading an image. And then you can select the ad ratio or uh, the dimensions for that image. And then I'm going to upload a logo. It takes a second for it to upload. And then you can upload videos and you can select your headlines, long headlines, and lastly, your description. So I'm just running through this very quickly and we are gonna select next. Okay, and we are at the screen where it is reviewing the settings that we have, and we are gonna select Publish Campaign, and we're gonna rename the ad group. Uh, you don't have to do this if you do not want to. I'm gonna call it Display Test. We're gonna select Save, and we're done. That's it. I hope that tutorial was helpful for you and now I want to give you the tip that I mentioned at the beginning of the video that could be a game changer for you and your business. Okay, so the tip is to check to see if your competitors are opted into the Google Display Network because if they are and they haven't excluded you as an advertiser, you have the opportunity to potentially run specific advertisements on your competitor's website. I've seen it happen before and it can be a great source of traffic for you and your business, especially because you know those users on your competitor's website are qualified. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, I would greatly appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can create more content like this to help you and your business. And last but not least, I have a free gift that I want to give you. It's my seven day online marketing jumpstart. This guide is aimed at the question, where do I begin? How do I get started in marketing my business online? After completing the steps in this guide, you'll have a lot more confidence and your website will have a solid foundation for years to come as you look to generate more revenue and more leads online. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time.